Alhamdulillah, with the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, we gather together to seek nearness to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala through learning His divine names and attributes. A very warm welcome and assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. Wa alaikum assalam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. Jazakumullahu khairan kathira for being here. Alhamdulillah. And uh, we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that bless our coming together for the sake of Allah. And let's take a few seconds to recheck our intentions. Take a deep breath and be ready to connect to the Creator. We begin with du'as. Allahumma inna nas'aluka hubbak wa hubba man yuhibbuk wal amal alladhi yuballighuni hubbak. Ameen ya Rabbil Alameen. Some recommendations to benefit truly from this series is, number one, to make an Asma'ul Husna journal. I hope you have your Connect to the Creator notebooks ready uh, to take notes, record lessons and reflections how this impacts your life. Uh, let us write, memorize, and make du'as to call out to Allah SWT through the name we learn today. And we apply the learning in life and review action items. Last but not the least, let us share with our loved ones to increase our nearness to Allah Subhanahu wa Taala and our hasanat. So today in this gathering, we are going to go through the name of Allah Subhanahu wa Taala, which is Al-Aziz. So let us begin, inshallah. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Alhamdulillah. By the enormous mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Allah subhanahu we are once again here trying our best to understand one of the divine attributes of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So today we are uh, we, we reading and trying to understand and comprehend the eighth attribute which is Al-Aziz. The mighty. You know, if you have noticed, Allah is Al Aziz, and Aziz's name is very common in the Pakistani community. But have you ever noticed? Have you ever thought that from where did this name come from? What does that mean? Al Aziz, the Almighty, the strong, the powerful. He is the noble one. He is invincible. He is incomparable. Al Aziz is the one who overcomes everything. He gives honor, dignity, and strength to whom he fills. The ones who believe in him, the ones who obey him. If you want honor, huh? You want strength, I'll, uh, so connect to Al Aziz. Al Aziz, the root letter of these of this word is Ain Z Z. Hundred and nineteen times it occurs in the Quran in seven derived forms, out of which hundred and one times is Aziz, the mighty. So, today we are going to go to, uh, understand what Az Aziz Almighty is, the one who overpowers everything and who cannot be overcome. Al Aziz is invincible, he's incomparable, and none is like him. Who is unbeatable? And nothing can prevent him from fulfilling what he wants. Who is the most honorable? And he gives honor. He is our Lord, Al Aziz, the Might, the Powerful. So, as we are going to uh, now, we are going to go through some verses from the Noble Quran in which Al Aziz is mentioned. The first verse which I'm going to uh, read is from Surah Ashara, which is the 26th chapter of the Noble Quran. 
and this is the verse number nine which I am reading, and it says, "Wa inna Rabbaka lahu al Aziz al Rahim," and indeed your Lord, uh, indeed your Lord, He is the Exalted in Might and Merciful, Aziz al Rahim. And furthermore, I'm going to more explain you more about Aziz al Rahim. And this particular verse, you know, "Ivaina Rabbaka lahu al Aziz al Rahim." is repeated approximately nine times, nine times in this surah. The next verse which I'm going to refer to you is from Surah Fatir, which is the 35th chapter of the Noble Quran, and the verse is number two. مَا يَفْتَهِ اللَّهُ لِلنَّاسِ مِنْ رَحْمَةٍ فَلَا مُمْسِكَ لَهُ وَمَا يُمْسِكْ فَلَا مُرْسِلَ لَهُ مِنْ بَعْدِ وَهُوَ الْعَزِيزُ الْحَكِيمُ Whatever Allah grants to people of mercy, none can withhold it. And whatever He withholds, none can release it. None can release it thereafter. And He is the Exalted in Might. Wahuwal Aziz al Hakim. The Exalted in Might defies. Allah introduces Himself to us. And he says in Surah Saad, thirty-eight chapter of the Noble Quran, verse number sixty-six: "Rabb al-Samawati wal-Ardi wa ma bainahum al-Aziz al-Ghafar." Lord of the heavens and the earth, and whatever is between them, the Exalted and Might, the Perpetual Forgiver, He is Ghafar. He forgives again and again and again. We are habitual sinners. He is Aziz al Ghafar. In another verse, you know, we have to know all aspects of it. Although he forgives again and again, but in Surah Ibrahim, verse forty-seven, chapter uh, number it's fourteen in the Noble Quran, Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala says. فلا تحسب أن الله الله مخلف بعده رسله رسله إن الله عزيز ذو انتقام. So never think that Allah will fail in His promise to His messengers. Indeed, Allah is exalted in might and owner of retribution. عزيز ذو انتقام. Just compare these two. عزيز الغفار and عزيز ذو انتقام. The attribute is the same, Aziz, but used in two different forms. In Tawasib hum fa'inna hum ibada, ko in takfir la hum fa'inna ka anta Azizul Hakim. If you should punish them, indeed they are your servants. But if you forgive them, indeed it is you who is the exalted in might. The wise. These verses are from Surah Al-Maida, chapter five in the Noble Quran, and the verse I read was Ayat one one eight. He is the Might. Either he forgives his servants or he punishes them. He is the Exalted in Might, the Wise. This is our Rab Al Aziz, and you know as I said. Al Aziz came in the Quran hundred and one times. Now, if you see this chart, isn't it beautiful? How the two attributes, different attributes of Allah, combined. They are paired together. If you know, if we, as we are reading the Quran, when we read the Quran, if we comprehend and um, see how the two names pair and how. What is the message Allah is giving? The word, common word is Alazdiz, the might, and it came with. I'll read few of them. Al Azizul Hakim, the might, the Almighty, the wise, the Almighty, the wise. You know, Al Azizul Hakim. Aziz with Hakim approximately came at least forty-seven uh, times in the Quran. Approximately, 
Aziz al Hakim. And we have read so many times. Did we ever stop for a moment to see what does that mean? And the next one I'm going to point you out is Aziz al Rahim. The Almighty, the Merciful. The Almighty, the Merciful. Approximately 11, 12 times this came in the Noble Quran. Especially if you see in Surah Shara, it came nine times. Nine times. And it came after the narration of each destroyed nation. Allah destroyed the nations. And in the end he said, In Narapaka huwa Azizur Rahim. And Amar Arab, he is Azizul Wahab. Almighty the Bestower. Azizul Muqtadir, Azizul Hamid. Khaviyul Aziz, Azizul Ghaffar, Azizul Alim, Azizun Zuntiqam, Azizul Ghaffur. As I always say, you know, we don't have enough time and enough life to under understand and comprehend, but we should make an effort, you know, Next time you will be reading Al-Aziz in the Quran. As I told you, it came around uh, with the Aziz word 101 times. Pay attention. Pay attention. Know your creator. The more we know our creator, the more we will obey him. He is our Lord, Al-Aziz. And we pray to Al Aziz, you know, whenever you're feeling weak or something, pray with this name. Oh, Al Aziz. And he's the one we can rely on. But whoever relies upon Allah, then indeed Allah is exalted in might and wise. Now, in our Rab, he is Qaviyul Aziz. Inna Rabbaka huwal Qaviyul Aziz. This is from Surah Hud, chapter 11, verse 66. Indeed, it is your Lord who is powerful, the exalted in, ma in might. And from Surah Al Imran, the third chapter of the Noble Quran, verse 62. Wa inna Allah ala huwal Azizul Hakim, and indeed Allah is the exalted and might, the wise. How great is our Lord. We don't know him enough. So let's pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Al Aziz, the mighty. Oh Allah, Al Aziz, all might belong to you. Make us among those who rely upon your power only. Protect us from misusing whatever power you have given us. Defend us from all of those who want to overpower us. Amin. Ya Rabbal Alameen. Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen. This is so beautiful. And Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen. When we learn about Al-Aziz, reminds us to be more and more humble towards him through this hadith of the Prophet ﷺ where he said that charity does not diminish wealth and Allah does not increase a man in anything for his pardoning others but in honor. And none humbles himself for Allah but Allah raises him. SubhanAllah. This is in Jamia Tirmidhi and uh, if you look at the words of the Prophet ﷺ وَمَا زَادَ اللَّهُ رَجُلًا بِعَفْنٍ إِلَّا فَعِزَّةً so how many of us really look forward to have honor, right? Most of us like to be honorable. So here is a very easy way of getting izza, and that is to humble ourselves and be more pardoning. The same hadith come in Muslim with little bit of different words. Uh, 
uh, here talks about the slave and uh, Allah, Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam is reminding us that وَمَا تَعَادُ أَحَدُ أَحَدُ لِلَّهِ إِلَّا رَفَعُهُ اللَّهُ أَزَّ وَجَلْ So it's so beautiful that none um, humbles himself for you know Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala and Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala exalts him in ranks. So today, as we go through the beautiful name of Allah Al Aziz. Let us start calling out to him through this beautiful name, Allahu Azza wa Jal. Let's try saying that, right? Many of the people in our community, they say Allah Mia, although there is no uh, reference to this word Mia. So when we uh, start calling out to Allah through his attributes and through his divine names, it makes it so powerful. So let's reach out, open our hands, raise them and ask Allah Azza wa Jal whatever we are in need of. And he is right there to grant us, even if it's honor or anything else. Now, this is a beautiful dua to remember Al-Aziz in the night. And Rasulullah Sallallahu told us like, you know, this dua, so if somebody uh, wakes up and you are turning over in the bed in the night, you remember the Al-Aziz by saying, لا إله إلا الله الواحد القهار رب السماوات والأرض وما بينهما العزيز الغفار There is none worthy of worship but Allah, the one, the victorious, Lord of the heavens and the earth, and all that is between them. العزيز, the Almighty, الغفار, the all-forgiving. Such a beautiful dua. Just imagine what all exists between the skies and the earth. It includes even us, right? And all that we feel through or what all that we are going through. Everything out there is comes under Wama Bainahuma. And Al-Aziz is right there for us. So feel the strength by calling out to Al-Aziz, even in the middle of the night, even when you're tossing and turning in your bed. So I hope we can all make an effort to memorize this beautiful, beautiful dua and add it to our daily lives. There's another, inshallah. inshallah. There's another, this beautiful way of calling out to Al-Aziz at the end of the gatherings. And uh, this is so beautiful that Rasulullah told us that whoever desires to receive a large amount of reward on the day of Qiyamah should recite the following at the end of a gathering when he in intends to stand up. This is Shami Rahimullah said, and this is in the Tafsir Ibn al Kathir as well. And these are the three verses from Surah As Safat, uh, verse number 180 to 182. Uh, these are Subhana Rabbika, Rabbil Izzati, Amma Yasifun, Al Rabbil Alameen. Exalted is your Lord, the Lord of Might, above what they describe. And peace upon the messengers and all praise to Allah, the Lord of the worlds. This is so incredible that these same verses, uh, we, we can remember Al-Aziz through them at the end of Salah. So Hazrat Aisha radiallahu anha, she narrated at the end after saying the salam, the Prophet sallam, and he would make the dua, la ilaha illallahu wahdahu la sharika la, lahu al-mulku wa lahu alhamdu yuhi wa yumit, wa huwa ala kulli shayin kadeer, allahumma la ma'ani'a lima a'tayt, wa la ma'atiya lima manat, wa la yan fawza jaddi min kajad. So she added these words. Uh, narrating to the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and she said also some would say Subhana Rabbika Rabbil Aizzati Amma Yasifun wa Salamun ala al-Mursaleen walhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen So may Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala enable us to call out the Rabb, Rabbil Aizzati the Lord of the Might and Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala give us the Tawfiq So how to live knowing Al-Aziz? Let's just do a quick recap and remind ourselves to be strong as we are the servants of the Almighty. No matter what's going through in our life, He is fully capable, He's fully aware, and He can uh, resolve it for us. And if we want to be honorable, then seek honor from the most honorable alone. And be humble in front of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and in dealings with the servants of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Uh, if we truly had the uh, want honor from Allah Azza wa Jal. So Alhamdulillah with that uh, we pray that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala enable us to internalize that Allah is Al-Aziz. He is the mighty, he's the invincible and he is the most honorable. 
So Jazakumullah Khair wa Asanu Jaza to all the strivers and sisters Tabassum. Alhamdulillah. Inshallah, if Allah wills, we will come back together with the next beautiful name of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, which is Al Jabbar. So stay happy and spread happiness and keep each other in your precious du'as. Uh, help uh, all around you connect to the Creator. Subhanak Allahumma wa bihamdika. Nashadun la ilaha illa anta. Nastaghfiruka wa natubu ilayk. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. Wa alaykum as-salam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.